So, so this is this is a little bit shorter than it was supposed to be. We went a little long this morning. Uh, so we're here for about 30, 35 minutes. Um, and it's a, a panel, I don't know if that's the right word to call it, but it's just a discussion. And really the thing is, we don't want to talk. We're here in case you don't. Um, we want you to, uh, to sort of uh, join in, in the discussion here. So we're going to give you some props about food and thinking, and uh, hopefully along the way we'll have a nice rich discussion about that. So I want to start with um, a question. So we're going to do a little bit of math, and this, this is what I would call a classic <coughs> question. This is from grade 9, apply 2008. So I want you to take a second to do this problem on your own. And then we're going to look at some student work. So let's take a look at some student work. And um, when you look at this student work, uh, I want you to look at it with the lens of examining student thinking. Okay? So here's the first sample solution. <laughs> Comments about that solution? Well, it's an algorithm. Yeah, definitely an algorithm. Yeah, sure, for, for sure. Yeah. Any other comments? Yeah, I just call it a classic answer. I would also call it a classic solution. This is, uh, you know, when when uh, they invented math teachers, uh, a math teacher would say, "Ah, my job is done." When the student writes the solution, right? I mean, that's that's. Uh, uh, an age-old question and an age-old method for solving that solution. Anyway. Okay, so let's take a look at another solution. So tell me about that solution. Compared to the other solution, I would say the student has a really great understanding of what the numbers are representing and positive in this solution. Mm, interesting. And so we'll actually, let, let's compare to the other solution. We'll put them both up there. Um, so <coughs> do you, can you elaborate on that, or can someone add to that? What, why, why would you say that a student has a better understanding of uh, the numbers in uh, the context of the question, why can can we say that? I mean, maybe maybe I'm, I'm I'm on your side, or uh, too soon, or maybe we can't say that. You know, does someone want to argue the other side of that? 